Hi guys, it's Sam here with Bargain Hunting Blonde and today I am bringing you a collab video with Jess from She's the Posh and we have made it into a tag video. So the tag is trends that I still love. So Jess and I talk all the time and we were thinking what is something we could do together that we both love but is something that's kind of a little uncommon in the Lux community and we thought it was kind of just that both of us love to wear the things we love. And so they may or may not be on trend and we have a tendency to buy bags that maybe, you know, were on trend a little bit ago and so now are cheaper and we can get deals on them. And so we just started thinking about the different things that we love, but people would be like, oh, that's not trendy anymore. And one of the things we both really wanted to convey with this tag is that it does not matter if the item you love is on trend or not. If you love it, you love it and you should wear it and you shouldn't be letting, you know, totally what's in or not dictate it. And I think as we've seen with fashion, I think we're definitely trending this way because there's less of the like big it bag and more of like, oh, here's a bunch of different bags that came out. They're all, you know, good and bad for different reasons. And yes, of course, we still see trendier pieces, but I think it's less of like you, this is very in and then very out and more of things that are worn, worn for a while, and just kind of carry on. So we each picked five different things and we do have one that we have in common. So if you are tagged to do this video or you just want to do this video, even if you're not tagged, we're picking five. You can pick more, you can pick less. Um, I think I could definitely do more. I just kind of had to like limit myself because I also think, you know, it's kind of depending on your opinion if something's like trendy or if something like verged onto classic. And I always think there's kind of depending on who you talk to, it depends on who's going to say what. So without further ado, let's dive into this. And first, I'm going to start out with a pair of shoes. And they are, I'm going to hold them like this because I have worn them. So the bottoms are kind of a little worn, as you guys can see. These are the Chloe Susanna boots. And this particular pair is with the gold hardware. And it actually, it looks a little gray on camera, but it is a black suede. And I chose the black suede because it looks both gray and black, especially depending on what you wear with it. So this was a very popular boot, and I would say the early, I guess, yeah, early 2010 era. Um, I think I remember seeing it a lot. I wanna say like 2013 to 2015. Could be a little wrong with that time period, but it was very popular. Uh, Chloe does still sell these boots, mainly just in the leather, but every season they'll have like different styles. I love these boots, but do I think they're completely in? No. When I put them on, do I strut around, you know, down the grocery store aisle? Because that's the only place I go. Yes. So I really like these. I think they can be styled really well. But I do think they were definitely a trend piece and they are less popular now. Uh, I did buy these on sale on Farfetch. So I would definitely say if you like this style, look pre-loved. Look on Farfetch. Uh, look on a bunch of different European retailers. Because a lot of times during the seasonal sales, these will go into the seasonal sale. So, number one, the Chloe Susanna boot. Number two, and this one I think is a little controversial because some people will say, no, this is still in and not a trend, and then other people are like, oh my gosh, this is so trendy, it's horrible, you should never wear them again. I wear this all the time, so that might give you a hint. Um, I think it's actually more, to me, a classic for the brand, and I'll discuss that when I show you guys. So it is, oops, as I knock over one of my bags, it is in this dust bag, which you guys can kind of tell is Gucci right there. And it is my Gucci Marmont belt. This particular one is the black leather with the gold GG. I think this is the most popular one. This is the initial original size it came out in when it was so, so hard to find. Um, I do also have it in a brown color with the gold GG. I really like the gold more than the silver, but I know a lot of people are saying like, if you're still wearing this, like you're so out of fashion, you have, you're so out of touch, which I just think is ridiculous to say about someone's style. Like the whole point, of fashion is that we all have our own style and we all have our own things we like to wear so I don't understand why you'd try to bring someone down because you think it's something that's like out of fashion or not trendy like if the person loves it like let them wear it I don't know I've just never understood wanting to like really tear someone down for what they're wearing but that's another conversation for another day but I do love this belt um, I think it is a great staple. It comes in so many different sizes now. Like, there's definitely ones way bigger than this. Oops, upside down. 
way bigger than this, way smaller than this, uh, pearls, different detailing. I just really like it. I think it's great quality. Actually, this belt was stolen out of my suitcase between Zurich and London when I was living basically part-time in three different countries. Um, and I replaced it immediately. I literally got off the plane, realized all my stuff was missing and went and bought it at Selfridges. So I love this belt. I would say, honestly, I love the whole Gucci Marmont line. I know a lot of people are now saying that the Gucci Marmont line and style is no longer popular and, you know, it's out of fashion. And it, if that's how you feel and you don't want to wear it, you don't have to. But I honestly think for Gucci, the Marmont line is going to be one of their classic lines. And I think you're going to keep seeing different takes on the bag, different takes on the belt, shoes, all of that uh, for a long time to come. So that is number two. Number three is a handbag. And this is one of my favorite bags because it was one of my like really first big Lux pieces. It's actually my first item I ever purchased from Fashion File. And I got it for myself for my 25th birthday, which was, which should have been a really great birthday because it was a Saturday in July. I was still living in LA. Um, but I was studying for the California bar. So yeah, I just studied all day, but I did buy myself this and I did go get myself a sprinkles cupcake. So, you know little things um but it is my it's very i have it very stuffed my celine luggage in the micro size so this is the well at one point there was four sizes so this would have been the second smallest but now there's just three so you have the mini which is bigger than this you have this which is the micro and then you have the nano which is the one with the crossbody strap so this is the micro it is in this beautiful red color with the gold hardware I purchased this in, that was 2016. This was still a pretty popular trendy bag. It wasn't as popular as it was at one point where like the wait list was crazy. Um, Cause I did get to buy this pre-loved from Fashion File. It was still very expensive. They are much cheaper on the pre-loved market now. Um, I think that this size, the micro and the mini, which is bigger are just not as popular anymore. I love the mini and would totally pick up a mini. I think the nano is still popular, which is why I didn't include my three nanos when I was talking about this bag. Cause I do think the nano is just one of those bags for Celine that's classic, especially if you're blind, but excuse me, buying it in like a black or a dune color or anything that's like they're really common popular colors. I just think this is such a beautiful bag and this one has held up really well. It is the drummed calfskin. Uh, there is a slight slouching on the side that kind of goes out as you guys can see right there. But I actually think the bag might have had that when I purchased it. Um, and I do really keep it stuffed because this is one bag that will lose its shape if it is not stuffed. But such a cute bag. Um, <laughs> I won't be surprised if I see a mini in my future, especially if I find it for a really good price because you can definitely get these for quite a steal. Next is another pair of shoes. And this is the one that Jess and I have in common. So I have two pairs, but I can only find one. So I'm not sure where the other one went at the moment. Um, I am slowly and I guess like cataloging all my luxury stuff. So it's taking me a while, um, but I have also been selling things as I've been like cataloging it all. So I wonder if I moved it when I was moving stuff around and that's why I now can't find it. But they are my rock stud, my Valentino rock stud. These are the gladiator sandals in this beautiful caramel cognac color. They do have the kind of champagne colored rock stud on them. So you guys can see, um, I love these. I think they're so cute. This style is just so classic. I think especially the rock stud sandal is something that I love, but I do know that there's been a lot of talk, like are the rock studs out? Um, they do still sell them in like a billion different type of shoes. You know, the heel, the flat, uh, the caged flat. There's totally like 10 different types of sandals. Uh, there's the, I love the heeled sandal. Um, I just never can find it in my size on sale. I don't want to pay full retail for these. And I would advise you if you are looking to purchase them going pre-loved or waiting for a sale because they always go into the sale and they go into the sale in a ton of different colors. But uh, Jess and I both agreed that these are something that is not as popular, not as trendy. And, you know, a lot of people say they're out of fashion, but we both love them. So it's just kind of Depends on what you love. I think especially for like the summer or like dressed up, the rock stud just adds that little bit of shine that everyone likes. And I feel like every single year, uh, many brands come out with similar styles. I know Steve Madden does it, Target does it. So, you know, there are definitely still people like Jess and I who love these shoes. And lastly, 
I did not want to include the Chloe Faye, even though I thought about it because <laughs> Jess and I would have another bag in common. Um, Jess and I, if you watch either of our channels or follow us on Instagram, we all the time buy the same things and we talk all the time and we'll both be like, oh, I found the deal on this. And we'll be like, oh, I just put that in my cart. So like we have very similar styles. So I was like, I have to find something that is different than what Jess has. Um, but, and also I'll definitely be linking her video down below and all of that um, because she has some other great picks uh, that I definitely agree with. And so my fifth and last one is a bag and it is my Chloe Drew. So if you watch both our videos, you'll see that there are a lot of Chloe bags on our picks. And I think that's because Chloe bags are much more hits and then they're gone. And I think that's something that maybe because they're a slightly lower price point, Chloe plays into. But for me, there are definitely bags that are classic. And I think the Drew is a classic. So this is my Chloe Drew in the black calfskin with what they call a red plaid suede. Uh, depending on what it's up against, it will look more orange, it will look more red, but it is an orange red. Uh, it's really great if you are, see now it looks more red when you pull it back, but if you are a big like Giants fan, I'm not a Giants fan, I am a loyal A's fan and will never be a bandwagon Giants fan. Uh, growing up in the Bay Area, that is definitely a thing, the bandwagon fans for the Giants, and I will not be that. Though I will say they have a beautiful stadium and I love going there because they have such a cool view but it gets so cold in that stadium like regardless of what time of the year it is it's freezing um even if you're in a box like as soon as you step out of the box it's cold but that's great for if you're a Giants fan or me I'm a fall Halloween fan like a crazy Halloween fan so I absolutely love this bag around Halloween you'll always see it pop up on my Instagram because I take it with me to like pumpkin patches and stuff like that but I really just do think this is a beautiful bag it is mine has really held its shape very well uh, I think that's somewhat a combo of the smooth calfskin with the suede um, I know that I have seen some that are more of the pebbled and they definitely have lost their shape again I do stuff it I just think this is a beautiful bag you can find this bag for such a deal like I have noticed them in the four or five hundred dollar range a lot um and that's on fashion file on the real real ebay so there's lots of places you can go look for them i just think this is such a classic bag and it does come in this is the small i should have said that this is the small size it does come in a mini which i don't think is going to fit the new style phones because they've gotten so big uh, but i do think that it would you know a lot of people carry their phones so it would probably be okay you might be able to get it vertically in the other bag uh, again this is a small and then there is what they called a medium which was very big and actually on the strap this is a full chain strap which I'm not going to take out because it's tucked in but you guys can see it right there it is chain um, that strap actually had leather on it because the medium was so much bigger than the small so I would personally suggest the small but those are my five trends that I still love I will be tagging, and so will Jess, a bunch of different people down below, and we'll make sure to tag you guys on Instagram. If you're not tagged, but you want to do this tag, please feel free to do it. Let me and Jess know. We'd love to watch them. I love to see what people still love and what they're going to style and they're going to wear, because like I said, I think fashion's really personal, and just because it's not in anymore doesn't mean that you shouldn't wear it. Of course, if the trends are really important to you, that's obviously your own fashion's take and your own fashion style, and you don't have to wear things that are out of style out of style in air quotes, but you know, everyone's, like I said, has their own opinion. And I think that's what makes this really interesting. And what makes this an interesting tag. So if you like these sort of videos, please make sure to hit the subscribe button down below and the notification bell. So you get notified every time I upload a new video, which is twice a week. This is going up on a Wednesday, but I normally upload on a Monday and Thursday. If you want to see how I style my bags, especially these beautiful out of trend pieces that have a tendency to make it on my Instagram, please make sure to follow me on my Instagram, Facebook, and blog all of which are linked down below. Thank you so much for tuning in today, guys, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.